As Department Chair and Residency Program Director, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Upstate Medical University Department of Orthopedic Surgery Interview Day. We understand that this is a difficult year for all candidates. We certainly miss having the opportunity to meet you in person. The goal of this presentation is to provide you with a brief overview of our program. Upstate Medical University is in Syracuse, which is located in central New York. Our Northeast location allows us to enjoy all four seasons. The proximity to the Great Lakes means that there is plenty of snow and that translates into winter fun. Syracuse itself offers many of the amenities available in most U.S. cities. The numerous surrounding lakes are outstanding for summer recreation. The autumn colors are spectacular. Another feature of our central location is the large referral area resulting in a patient population with a variety of orthopedic needs. Upstate Medical University is part of the State University of New York system. Syracuse University is a private school. Although Upstate Medical University is adjacent to Syracuse University, it is not part of Syracuse University. This slide shows the main university hospital to the left with the children's hospital rising above. On the right, the white structure is the cancer center. When interviews are in person, the interview program generally includes a tour of our hospital and outpatient facilities. The upper left photograph in the slide is our resident education area. The photograph on the right was taken in our outpatient surgery center. The interviews today consist of three group remote interviews, each 15 minutes in length. After the completion of the interviews today, we meet as a group to discuss the candidates. Please don't write us thank you notes as your time is valuable and they have no impact on the ranking process. If you do have any questions about the program when making your final rank list, please feel free to email our residency coordinator, Kristen Heyer. Orthopedic surgery was established as a department on July 1, 1966. Dr. David Murray was the first department chair and he held that position for 30 of the subsequent 33 years. The residency program predated the formation of the department and had its first graduate in 1962. Since then, there have been over 200 graduates of the program. Graduates practice in both academic and private settings and have entered into a variety of orthopedic specialties. This faculty photograph was taken in the entrance of the Upstate Bone and Joint Center, located 15 minutes from the main hospital and is the primary location of our outpatient practice. This is the outside of the Upstate Bone and Joint Center. The Upstate Bone and Joint Center also includes most of the academic offices. Faculty subspecialty expertise is listed on the slide. If you add these numbers, they exceed 21 because some of our faculty members practice in more than one specialty. Of the 22 faculty members in this slide, 21 are in full-time practice in the department. Of note is that all of the major orthopedic subspecialties are represented in the faculty. Upstate Orthopedics historically has had a very distinguished faculty. There have been past presidents of several major national organizations, including the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, the American Board of Orthopedic Surgery, and multiple subspecialty societies. Currently, faculty members hold prominent committee and board of director positions. Several faculty members have been recognized by local university awards. Although all programs tend to have changes through the course of five years, there are currently no major changes planned for the structure of the program. The department recently added a pediatric orthopedic surgeon. A second foot and ankle surgeon is being recruited to join the faculty. 
In 2017, the program went from four residents per year to five residents per year. The incoming residency class of five residents will mean that all of the classes will be five residents per year. There are two fellows in the program, one in hand and one in spine. This is a recent photograph of our residents taken outside of the medical school building. We're certainly proud of what they've accomplished. This is a block diagram of the first year in the program. The top table shows the basic rotations. The table below shows the distribution and the assignments among the five residents. This block diagram is an illustration of the PG2 through PG5 years. Since we are represented in all specialty areas, all of the rotations are in Syracuse. This photograph was taken outside of the Golisano Children's Hospital. There is a separate entrance to the Children's Hospital, but it can also be accessed from within the main hospital. The Children's Hospital occupies the top floors of the main hospital. There are separate emergency departments and operating rooms for children. Some of the services, such as the laboratory and imaging, are shared with the adult hospital. This is a group of happy residents outside the hospital celebrating as graduation approaches. We are fortunate to have on the faculty three full-time trauma surgeons. Upstate is an extremely busy level one trauma center. It's the only level one trauma center in the region. The surrounding rural area means that there's a high volume of high speed motor vehicle trauma. This slide shows some of our recent graduates outside the emergency department and in the operating rooms of our outpatient surgery center. In addition to the full-time faculty, there are voluntary faculty members involved with education. There are locations at Krauss Hospital, which is attached to University Hospital by a bridge. There are also rotations at the VA Hospital in Syracuse. Both of these are within walking distance of the main University Hospital. The combination of the full-time and part-time faculty provides residents with ample clinical experience throughout the years in the program. This is a photograph of the Institute for Human Performance. The department's basic science laboratories are in this building. There are excellent facilities available to residents for basic science research projects. There is an accomplished full-time research faculty that has a significant amount of NIH funding. There are also opportunities for participation in multiple ongoing clinical projects. All residents are required to participate in research. There is a research rotation included in the fourth year of the residency. We view ourselves as a strong academic department. We have a structured academic curriculum, including outstanding clinical and research opportunities for residents. Graduates of our residency program are competitive for top fellowships. Most graduates do fellowship after graduation. However, graduates are qualified to enter into practice directly out of residency if they prefer. In closing, thank you for your interest in our program. We hope you look at us closely and see that we offer an outstanding orthopedic surgery education.